Senex est in via. Senes non sunt in via. Uenes est in via. Uenes sunt in via. Mercator est in via. Mercatores sunt in via. Puella est in via. Puellae non sunt in via. Femina est in via. Feminae non sunt in via. Villa est. Villae sunt. We were more to us est in via. We were more to we sunt in via. Puer non est in via. Pueri sunt in via. Argentarius est in via. Argentarii sunt in via. Okay, so we are talking about how the verb of being changes when we change the number. Previously, as you can see in this column here, we learned that if you want to say one person is something, you use the verb est. Hopefully we notice est as the common denominator in all of these sentences. That is the word for est. Est, of course, is the third person singular of the verb of being. Now we're learning, as you can see in the right column, that when you have more than one person as the subject of the verb of being, we change the verb to sunt. So over here we have sunt for all of these. So, another way of saying this is that est is the verb is, and sunt means are. Let's take a peek at a couple of these examples here. The man, the old man is in the road. The old men are not in the road. The young man is in the street. The young men are not in the street. So, again, est equals is. And sunt equals are. So when the number of the verb of being is singular, third person singular, we use est. When the number of the verb of being is third person plural, we use sunt. Notice also that sunt ends in nt because as we saw in part one, nt is what we use for third person plural, and est ends in t which is what we use for third person singular. Okay, here we are again with everything that we've learned in nice organized chart format. This chart here talks about the regular verb endings. Notice it has first, second, and third person. Singulars are on top, so first person singular ends in O. First person, I'm sorry, second person singular ends in S, and third person singular ends in T. And down here on the bottom, we have the plural verb endings for regular verbs. Third person plural that we've just learned is nt. This chart deals with the forms of sum because sum is an irregular verb. Again, the top three rows deal with singular forms of sum in the first, second, and third person. Sum, s, est. I am, you are, someone is. The bottom of the chart deals with the plural forms of sum. We haven't learned this one or this one, but we have the learned, we have learned sunt now means are, as in they are, or the old men are. And that's all for the forms of sum.